Hey guys, this is Bharat Bhaj with Honorena.com and this is the OB Hornbill S551 that we have here. So this newly launched phablet is actually a low mid-range device costing just around Rs. 9000, 9230 to be exact as the MRP and has a 5.5 inch HD display which is 1280 by 720 and has a 13 megapixel camera at the back. So pretty interesting device especially at this price point and OB is known to launch devices that have really good value for money. The Octopus S520 was one of the first octa-core devices to come at a really low price point and uh, this seems to be following the similar footsteps. So yes that's the OB Hornbill S551 we are going to unbox it and show you the first look of this device. Let's see how it turns out in the unboxing video. So let's take a look at the box here, pretty minimalistic box from OB as usual but over at the back you have the specifications listed as the highlights. So you have a quad core 1.3 GHz processor and that's the MediaTek MT6582, you have uh, Android KitKat, uh, the 5.5 inch IPS HD screen, you've got uh, multiple support for GSM bands and 13 megapixel camera, 5 megapixel front facing camera, 8 gigs of ROM, 1 gig of RAM and you got the micro SD card slot and uh, you've also got F FM and the thickness is just 7.9 millimeters and the battery is 2200 mAh. So let's open the box up and take a quick look at the OB Hornbill. There you go, that's the phone right there on the top. It doesn't look as big as uh, many other 5.5 inch phones uh, Maybe because it's uh, really thin, it's actually 7.9 millimeters as you saw and it is really thin and looks very nicely built, has metal on the sides as you can see. This is the metal design on the sides, with screws and uh, metal buttons, at least it looks metal, I'm not sure if it's fake metal or real uh, and otherwise it's pretty much plastic but it has a texture as you can see, the texture is dotted and uh, kind of uh, different from the Samsung one, uh, very similar to look in, in terms of looks but uh, the feel is much different and you have got the 13 megapixel camera unit here at the top, uh, a rarity at this price range we would say. So anyway let's keep the phone aside and uh, take a look at the box contents. So you've got uh, the scratch card and also a flip cover that will replace the back, pretty cool. And the other usual stuff, you've got the USB cable, the headphones, the user manual and the uh, USB plug. So let's take the battery alone and put it in the phone. So unlike the usual, let's start with the back side of the phone. You've got the 2200mAh battery right there and I'm going to pop it in. Above the battery, you've got the two slots. Uh, both uh, SIM card slots and the micro SD card slot, you can see that the description here says uh, SIM 2 and SIM 1 on top of each other and there is the micro SD card slot right beside them. So let's close the back panel and power on the phone. So there you go, that's the OB booting up. Let's quickly go through the hardware again, 5.5 720p screen, earpiece, 5 megapixel front facing camera. You hopefully have got uh, capacitor buttons down there, but even if they are not there, it should be on screen. Over at the right, you have the uh, metallic uh, build and you have got the button. That's the lock button. And over at the left, that's the volume rocker. And down at the bottom, you have got the primary microphone. And up at the top, you have the 3.5mm audio jack and the micro USB port. So we already saw the uh, things underneath the cover for the back cover has the 13 megapixel camera, the LED flash, the neat name tag or rather a Lumia looking thing for the 13 megapixel, OB and the speakers. So let's take a look at the UI now, that's the software, pretty much uh, stock with slight modifications. This is Android 4.4.2 KitKat and it's really fast. The 6582 is uh, pretty fast and we can see that they have modified the UI slightly. So you can take a closer look at it. That's the Android version that you get on the phone. And uh, the display seems really nice. The display uh, does look really bright 
and also really pixel dense that's what matters the viewing angles uh, are great actually for the price it comes at as you, as you can see the viewing angles are indeed great so that's about it for the video stay tuned to our youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comment section below